Hi, so today I'm gonna demonstrate how to harmonize this song called God Save the Queen. It is the British and national anthem. Why I want to pick this song? Because it's essentially very easy to sing. Secondly, it's made of all, all the notes in the same key. So we are not talking about change of keys, moving out of key, all this complex stuff. We want to demonstrate how we can harmonize a melody within this, all within the same key, but using the basic, basic harmonic combinations that, you know, we can uh, all apply. So, then we can demonstrate how music harmony works in principle. So, I will play the melody first, then we, uh, we, will, we will work part by part and try to figure out what, how we can harm and how we can harmonize. So first of the melody, it's very simple. I just uh, pick up by my by by hearing. I never play, never seen the score. But I think usually the song is played at a different key. So, but we are gonna use the C major to demonstrate everything because essentially it's all white keys. So, so very simple. So first bar. This thing. So once you have this. Naturally, I don't know how to describe it. I think of the starting point is going to be the bass C major chord. You can have this, but then you can, you can do this basically. And this a progression of these notes going down actually appears naturally in my head. And maybe that's when I hear it, the harmony was actually doing it that way. So anyway, the... The, so it basically means the right treatment goes converges to some point, you know, so we're gonna try that We can have this we start with single notes then we can add in more layers and more We can stack more keys to Produce more complex chords, but essentially you can start with sing the, the idea is always you start with the single notes and work out the progression first. So we have melody like this. And they go up, you can do this. This actually goes very well. But in some treatments, I see people doing this. Personally, I think this is more interesting. Then, so that sounds nice, isn't it? But then, you can add more layers to it, basically. So, the idea is to naturally think of the the bass chord start with the full chord this gives you the same bass key the bass note the the bass the bass basically the bass melody line you can do this say for example you can have four notes but you need to work out the parts in between and you know, there's a subtle difference between 
it's this, 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 something like this, you know. So, but I'm gonna, you know, some treatments do, do the four keys combination. But I think, in my opinion, I'm gonna start with a bit cleaner version. So, I can start with this. This is a C major bass chord. The problem is, once you have this, you can't press this. So for example, if you do this, this sounds shit, isn't it? The reason is this note, this clashes, you know. However, if you do everything at the, you know, you treat this as a group of notes, it has doesn't have such problem. I can show you that. This sounds nice, isn't it? This is very interesting. So that kind of explains the base principles of harmony. So I just give you an example. You have to try all the combinations. But if I try this approach, I can start with this. So you notice that in this in here I did not did not do this. I let the keys I let the sound from the first note continue, but then I alter my the, the bass notes to create this progression. So for example, let me show here. And naturally the last note, this forms another chord and it's, it sounds very nice. So this is my first part basically. Finish. So the second bar, I like to add this, it gives a nice harmonic ending. So the second bar, similarly, naturally, I'm, we start with single notes. This still works. Naturally, it go. It forces you to go back to the the root note. Sounds nice, isn't it? Very nice. Beautiful, isn't it? So. You know what I mean. Basically, I'm gonna. I have the single notes, and I'm gonna add in the, the layers. But I like to start with this. This this sounds nice. I'm not sure about this actually. Okay. That's because uh, here you have you have this. It's not that bad. They are chords based on this in music all the time. I change my mind. I'm just gonna do the same thing as before. I will not press this key. And then that the next interesting part is this. This part. How are we going to harmonize this? This goes to the A minor actually. And I don't know how to say it because that's based on my experience. That's the A minor, A minor chord. So you have, you have basically something in C major, but then it ends with something um, using the C minor, uh, A minor chord. 
So basically you have this. Actually I don't like that. Right version should be. Something like this. The two first two bars are finished. So, uh, the next part. This part will not any will not harmonize this part. This part is just melody. Once you have this, every time when you hear this kind of notes, naturally you will be thinking of a progression from the bass, the, using the bass, the C major bass chord. So you have this, but you can add this. constant pressing keep pressing these notes just create a create a nice bass line for the for your for your progression because I can demonstrate why it's like this so you have something like this so it sounds very nice isn't it So, and naturally, we have this, which key actually goes with that? This one. So you have this. That goes very well, isn't it? Can see why. But then sometimes I think of a different version. So I want to try this. But this actually goes back to the A minor. Mm, how do I say this? This actually sets you to some different path, you know. The change of chords goes to A minor gives you a different feeling and it kind of you can even go get along with this actually. So if, so if you for example wanna play this. progression but then I hear that I can hear that in some other treatment they do this this actually goes out of the key and with we're, we're saying that earlier we're not going to try any chords out of the out of the key 
but then this actually gives you an option to go it's very interesting so in later videos i think we are gonna change this to you know to some sort of variation and maybe you can move out of that out of the key and that sort of part but in this video we're just gonna be focused on the basically all the c major chords so just where we stop we have here we have this part This is not nice. Finish. If you can remember the path, you can replicate the whole, I mean, the correct path I've demonstrated, you can easily harmonize this piece. But at the same time, you can add in different spices based on the the basic principles of harmonization, you can alter different things around by adding and reducing the keys, by adding the layers of your harmony. Basically, as long as it sounds nice and you know it's consistent with the basic musical principles, it will sound nice. So we'll stop here today.